Under a proposal championed by Governor Andrew Cuomo, New York would become the first state in the nation to mandate a minimum wage of $15 per hour. That's more than double the federal minimum wage. A new study says a $15 minimum wage will ultimately cost New York State at least 200,000 jobs. New York just can't handle these kind of job losses, and the problems don't stop there. Impact on service providers. And the name of the business is Time For You Play Care LLC. Um, I started Time For You Play Care this past fall um, with the anticipation of being able to provide area students a quality after school program. LifeSong is a nonprofit organization that serves people with developmental disabilities. We support them with applying to jobs, interviewing for jobs, transportation to and from appointments related to their employment. Um, and upon hiring, we also offer job coaching support. So we support them at their place of employment um, for the duration of their employment. The state wage increase, again, although in theory it does uh, maybe seem like a great idea, I think it absolutely does shrink the job market. And in an already somewhat limited job market, uh, given the folks that we support, it's going to make it that much harder uh, for them to find competitive employment. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Um, increasing the tuition would be one, um, potentially limiting the size of the program to keep it smaller so I can keep some of my costs down, but overall that's not going to allow my business to continue to grow or to even survive at that point. Get the rest of the story and learn how you can help at EmpireCenter.org slash minwage.